Now, this is an example of a simple task that you are invited to a birthday party. What are the activities? Activities are a uh, root option, jana kaise hai, address kahan par hai. You have to buy a gift. You have to get ready, dress up. You must drive your car. You must assess ki petrol hai ya nahi hai gaadi mein. Uh, birthday party is the goal ultimately. What route to take? Ye activities hai. Now, if I plan this, I get something of this kind. That I must know the birthday party hai. I must know the date. I must know where to go. I must know how much time I have. And then what routes I must take. Gaadi mein petrol kitna hai. Decide the route. Dress up. Drive your car. And whatever. This is a typical planning for simple tasks like going to a party. If I use the analogy here, this is what you are doing generally. That you should first have your goal. Goal is not clear examination. That is a higher level goal. A goal hoga, okay, which is GS complete karna hai. One goal could be optional complete karna hai. One goal could be that I have to go and join some institute and what I must do for that. So goals can have sub goals. You must have a goal. Your timelines must be very, very clear. Ki kitna time aapke paas hai. Okay. And then what are the tasks? Okay. Because if the time is infinite, fit task to karna hai karlo. If the time is short, your task must get modified. You must identify what are your strengths and weaknesses? You are not in a school. You are in a coaching class or you are in a journey which demands that you evaluate yourself very, very critically. Exactly, aapke gaps kya hai? I can't sit, I can't concentrate, I can't write. I have problems in maybe, uh, you know, analysis. I have problems in memorization maybe. What are your strengths and skills? And then you execute, you take feedback, you again correct yourself, you again take a feedback and this goes on as a cycle. So it is not simply ki you join a course, course khatam kara diya. That's a very, very, I'll say naive way of planning. Okay. This is, a, a, any project management is done on these lines. So see this Goal of IS preparation, something like a project management. This ka first kaam hai, what's your goal and timeline. I call this as a clinical mindset. Your mind must not have clutter. Okay, aapko bahut hi strategically sochna padega. Ki what am I doing, why am I doing it, towards what approach. And this thing will slowly, gradually unravel for yourself. So, I have this mindset called as a clinical mindset. Okay. Now, towards that, this is one of my uh, favorite uh, ways of explaining where you are and where you want to go. So, where you are, so I'm in Jan over almost. So, Feb, I'm shuru kar rahe. Okay, 24 Feb. Uh, 25 and 26. This is where you are. Prelims ka hai 25, May mein prelims hai. Uh, Mains is September 25. Interview is 26 January. This is cycle. Okay, first attempt wale, aapke ye cycle hai. And I suggest all of you, draw this down please. Draw this down, write this down. Uh, these timelines must, uh, you know, uh, be fixed in your memory. You are in the month of Feb. Your prelims is in the month of May last week. September mein mains hoga aapka. Okay. An interview is, and this is, has been the pattern, but for the COVID disruptions. Okay. Have this timeline. Okay. Now on this timeline, what, okay, you must be ready is that prelims preparation is a very intense preparation. You cannot take a chance. So, for most of you realize, to prepare for prelims, you need clear at least four months. Some of you can say three months, some of you can say five months, but four months is what you require for prelims. So, if the prelims is in the month of May, your prelims exclusive should start from January. 
Some of you are giving for 24. I have told you now. You can slowly shift towards prelims now. So, Jan, Feb, March, April is prelims times. And prelims or mains ki beech mein, the time is very short. Just three months. Okay. So, between prelims and mains, you cannot do too much things. Whatever you must prepare for the mains must be ready by December and January. So, I say, but December, January, you have to be mains ready. What does mains ready mean? I'll explain afterwards. Some of you know it. I'll only reinforce it for all of you. So, by December, January of 24, end tak, mains ready ho jao. Then you put four months time to prepare for prelims. After prelims, three months time for mains or for interview. From now to mains ready, which is December, January, the time is approximately 11 months. 11 months, give or take a couple of days, I said, round off, karo, around 3 into 30, kar diya 330 days, aapke paas hai, to get mains ready. Okay. And whatever you do here, will also be used as a part of your prelims preparation again. So, keep this timeline in mind, all of you. Okay. Now, on this, I said, Prelims and mains may. You'll have mains. This is the right time only for mains revision. Gift test, right answer, gift test, right answer. This is not a time when you should get into a new course starting from fresh. Sabo jana chahi aapka. Okay. And from now till December is the time for GS bhi karna hai, optional bhi karna hai, current affairs bhi karna hai, and mains level test bhi dena hai. Some of you may have began a bit earlier, maybe September, August. You have some more time. Those who are beginning now, some of you are asking me, sir, GS abhi kare hai baad mein kaya. So you don't have time. You have to start now. This is the time that you have. Okay. Approximately, I said, 11 months time to do everything right now. Okay. And then the rest follows. So this, I think all of you are clear. Write these points down. And go back and relook into it whether you want to modify in some ways or the other. Okay, this is your timeline.